And no matter where you go on the central or southeast Texas coastline, you can still tell that something is churning out in the Gulf. The angry surf, always a telltale sign. That is certainly the case right now in Galveston. Our Sea on Roads continues our team coverage tonight down on the island. And Sea on the last 24 hours have brought strong winds, soaking rains, and flooding to Galveston. And we're getting uh, one of those lighter bands that's coming through right now. The sky is a little bit trying to have a, a breakthrough with some blue sky and some sun. But take a look as you've been referencing the waves there, really telling the story. Galveston really getting what they expected these last several hours. The question, though, is how much more of it they're going to get. With storm surge of up to five feet, there was bound to be water in the streets. Wow. It's scary. During breaks in Beta's rain bands, people got out to take a look. The wind is so strong, the waves are big. But Galveston city officials urging residents not to let their guard down as Beta brings even more rain to the island. If we get heavier rains, those drains aren't draining. We already got water in the streets and we're just going to get more flooding. Dr. Craig Brown is acting mayor of Galveston. I think the main thing is be vigilant. Uh, if you're in a situation where you're right on that edge of water coming into a structure or something, this could come up overnight, especially if we get heavy rains. It's all dependent upon the rain. And they're worried about those heavier rain bands they say they could see later this evening. And they say that the city has been out clearing drains of debris to make sure that the drains can do their job and be clear for that additional rainfall. Reporting live on Galveston Island, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.